Welcome. The three layers of marketing. Marketing is intuitive and is built into the DNA, it's not a consequence of tier 1 education but a natural thought process. Very few are gifted with the ability to market the products and build impeccable strategy, others just try and mimic. Marketing holistically consists of three layers. One, the research and analysis layer, that helps us derive insight and come up with meaningful conclusions. We employ data science methodologies to build models for developing insights. Two, the marketing plan based on the conclusions from first layer is where we develop new or make changes to existing products, iterate to process and policies, build, acquire new platforms, including the go-to-market operational plans and implementation. 3. As a conclusion and close loop we employ customer value management activities to drive up customer pull and also plan segmented offering with a balanced above the line, and, below the line approach. What ties the three is the 21x Finesse Marketing Series propounded exclusively by Marketing Arthur Shastra, and is a perpetual reference series helping you build a robust marketing strategy, and, learn how you can do it through simplified, animation modeled, Netflix-styled episodes. This alludes you to ruminate in a structured and creative manner, making you build the capacity to develop full-fledged marketing strategies. We hope you will follow us in our journey towards building highly skilled and meticulous marketeers. In the realms where meritocracy is not defined by aristocracy or tier 1 education. Happy learning! Welcome! We hope you understood what a data science project is and how it impacts a marketer's life. Now let's do a quick recap of the two episodes that we have seen. The first episode Agatha wanted to evolve and the second episode what she needs to do to evolve. We had requested some of our participants to do a Google search and understand what a data science project is. We hope you are ready with your own preparedness. Now let us go forward and understand what are the nuances of building a data science project. Now let us see what are the key steps involved for building a data science project. The first one being, please make a complete list of what are the data that is required, what are the software required, what are the hardware required and second, from where will the data come from, whether you know you can source it internally or externally or something that needs to be sourced exclusively. And third, prepare a plan to understand and build a model and also to capture the data. We just cannot be randomly collecting data and keeping it somewhere. And fourth, develop a data store or a data mart or whichever way you choose to call it, where we can store all the data centrally and it is accessible through a front-end software. And fifth, develop and create models wherein we can make sense from the data. First is reporting and analytics, second is running statistical models and third machine learning and fourth deep learning and further based on the insights derived take decisions. It could be making changes to the process or running a campaign. Based on the insights that you see make relevant decisions and follow through. Now let us look at what are the key uh, sources or the data types or the data fields that are required? Since uh, Agatha needs to build a end-to-end -end marketing strategy, we are going to just look at the marketing part of this uh, data science and uh, for software and hardware, we will uh, skip for now. First is market share and competition. As a marketer, you should know your market and that is the most important starting point. And second, complete sales and interaction data of what is happening at her store. And third, shadow mapping. How does your product compare with the competition? Whether it can stand competition or we are underpriced or overpriced or equally priced, etc. All these can be captured and built into a system called business intelligence and popularly known as BI. Now, what are the key components of business intelligence? Market share and competition. So first is size of the market and who is your competition? So who, uh, which are the stores that are competing with uh, uh, Agatha? 
and third what are the type of products a competition is uh, having in the market and what is their industrial capacity are they having the capacity to produce more than agatha or less than agatha or equal to agatha and fifth what is the customer market share that is the number of customers who are present in the market and what is the share that agatha has and what the, what is the share which the other uh, uh, stores have and sixth is the revenue market share and what is the proportional revenue that is uh, being uh, garnered by agatha shops and seventh the most important part is the nash equilibrium we'll see more about it in the following uh, uh, slides next we see the profile of the customers what is the profile of your customers are they youth middle aged elder children or a combination of the above or uh, professionals visiting your shop or it's a normal uh, set of college students coming in etc and we need to also understand what pulls them to your shops first food and beverages the wide selection of gourmet that you have second ambience and third proximity to that places for example the shop could be near to a college or a school or uh, near an office space and free wifi or the complimentary wifi that you provide and fifth crowd and the type of people coming in because this is important some people do not like to visit shops which is frequented by uh, people of uh, a different uh, social class Uh, those exist and uh, we will need to understand the customer psyche and uh, plan accordingly and so, uh, the final part is what keeps them is it your service that is keeping them is it your products and uh, many other factors we recommend you provide full attention to this part of the video and understand the various factors impacting and uh, the key components of business intelligence this shall help you understand the remaining part of the course now let us understand what is market share and competition of what we have seen as the first part in the slide earlier so size of the market what is the overall consumption requirement and sales so if agatha is in the uh, food business or a coffee shop business what is the overall size of the market how many people are consuming coffee how many people are buying cakes etc and second what is the share of consumption out of the total people that comes to agatha and third who are agatha's competition and fourth are the products competitively priced and second is the competition capacity what is the total output and capacity of the competition for example if her competition has more than 10 times the size of her capacity then there is no way agatha can compete unless she increases her capacity the most important part is the nash equilibrium how far is she from her competition so that can have a significant impact on her business as well and second is she losing her market share due to improper locality and is she rightly placed more on nash equilibrium we shall see in the following slides we hear you so so uh, let's take a 5 minute mental break and then uh, look at uh, the entire course in a different perspective so let us uh, first look at it as various lego bricks that is uh, strewn around and uh, we are trying to uh, get this together build it into a nice model so first is the data where we have all the lego bricks kept and then we sort it into different colors and then we arrange it and then we present it visually so this is what we are going to do since the first part is going to uh, uh, make us uh, spend a lot of time in gathering a lot of data you might think it is not connected but once we collect all the data and start doing a relational uh, database management you will understand the importance of it so uh speaking about data and uh, the steps involved everything was fine and uh, good but when we get into the work or when we get to the field how are we going to collect the data so uh, we are going to use the method called information search and analysis 
and uh, popularly called as ISAS of course it is a marketing at the shastras uh, acronym uh, first is the field market research and second digital audience marketing and third internal data analytics we'll see one by one and on how each of this method will help us get the data that we require we spoke about getting the market information competition data etc but these are not available uh, ready made anywhere so that's where we will employ a field market research agency who will do many of these activities on our behalf the first is competition whereabouts they can find and tell us where exactly our competition is located what is their uh, gps coordinates and uh, how far are we from them and we also recommend you google for nash equilibrium you will be thrilled and second is the competition information so how many walk ins happen to their stores and uh, uh, the approximate infrastructure they have and uh, what are the products they have so you can also google for uh, various services offered by marketing agencies and uh, you will realize there are more data that you can uh, secure from them or uh, source from them by employing them and the third is digging it deep so first is uh, we got the uh, surface scratched and second is we need to understand what the customers feel by doing a survey to competition customers and also to our own customers so uh, to get a feel of how does a survey look like you can try and google uh, for various survey forms and uh, various drafts of survey available uh, in the internet believe me internet is a ocean and if you know what to search you are a winner the next part is interact as a customer with competition and also with our own source do a ghost shopping and compare the experience they have had between the shops for example the marketing agency will depute the same person to go to your competition and also to your store and tell us the difference between the services and the products they have experienced now all these are now collated and put together into a single presentation which will be presented by the research analyst from the marketing agency now additional to it they will also provide you with the data that they have collected from the field of course with the customer's consent now that brings us to the conclusion about field market research agency and how that can be used to get the data we require from the market we will also see about how agatha will be using these information and also about digital audience marketing and internal data analytics in the upcoming episode so if you have to engage a market research agency for your line of business telecom bfsi or fmcg how would you do it prepare today for a reality check and please do shoot out your questions by visiting my linkedin page and we'll be happy to help